the woods have always been where I've felt most comfortable. Safe. It's society and people that terrify me. We hurt, terrorize, and kill each other without a second thought. For reasons that are meaningless. In nature, animals only kill to survive. This place was our chance to leave everything behind. To start our own path. Sorry, fuck, sorry. Fuck, dude. Watch where the fuck you're going. My choices create my destiny, not a deck of cards. Must be a new fad. I saw another guy out here with a deck of those offering readings for money. Kind of funny when you think about it. What is? People who think their life is predetermined. I say if you're unhappy with your life, then take charge and change it. We only have ourselves to rely on in this world. Take what you need to make yourself happy. As long as you're not hurting anyone. <laughs> I'm, a uh, Noah. Like the Bible? <sighs> Something like that? I'm Patrick. Like the saint? <laughs> Haven't seen you around here before. The 
I don't uh, get out very often. Everything seems so peaceful up here. Things aren't always as they seem. Perspective. Perspective. Take it from personal experience. You can get yourself into some bad situations by making those kind of assumptions. Especially up here. What does this mean? I didn't bring the book. <laughs> but I think it has something to do with, um, with balance, fairness, doing the right thing. I respect that guy. He knows what he wants and he's not afraid to go after it. Isn't that the guy that hangs out in front of the dime store that hands out balloons with the bad wig? Howdy, boys. Name's Stan. You coming? I'm sorry, that wasn't very nice. So, uh... Which one is it? Huh? Well, you want to fuck him or be him? Neither. <laughs> Love doesn't exist on Devil's Path, sunshine. You better be careful. Huh? They look like you. Hey, trail up ahead is closed. Why? Why is it closed? A couple people have been attacked recently. And until we find out what happened to the guys who went missing up there, it'll stay closed. Nice to see you on the main trail, instead of the side trails down below. I'm Ranger Tom. Uh, Noah. This is... Uh... Mark. I'm Mark. Tom, we need you down here at the visitor center. Prado, someone let their dog off the leash and it's chasing the damn deer. Copy. People and the refusal to follow simple rules. You two stay off the closed trail. And make sure to make it down before dark. Can't help you after that. I mean it. Not safe. Could be a bear. Don't get out much, huh? Sometimes I like to watch. Mark. I just prefer people not knowing my real name, especially up here. So is it really Patrick? What are you doing? Don't be such a pussy. Little, little.
<laughs> you should see your face. <laughs> see, isn't this better than the lower trail? Guess that depends on what you're looking for. Look around you. It's this exciting. This is real. What, sex in the woods? Yes, it's primal. <laughs> Tangible. Nature at its finest. Seems a little bit lonely. I think that's pretty judgmental. No, 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 no. I didn't mean it like that. Or did you mean it? I walked by a guy back there who was just standing in the woods waiting to be chosen. Just seems like kind of a lonely way to find love or romance. <laughs> You really don't get out much, do you? People don't come here for love or romance. They come here to get off. And besides, love is a chemical reaction in the brain. It's not real. Isn't that a little judgmental? The truth is never judgmental. You look as spooked as that ranger back there. Guys go missing? People getting attacked? It's not a bear. How do you know? There'd be tracks or... or... remains. <laughs> sometimes people just do fucked up things. And sometimes people just go missing. What do you mean by that? Motives can be overrated. If you're so scared, why did you come with? What are these? Is this some witchcraft or some shit? <laughs> no, it's not witchcraft. It's a cairn. Hikers, they use those to mark alternate trails. You must be an avid hiker. Or a witch. <laughs> no, I'm not a witch. <laughs> I spent a lot of time in the woods growing up when I was a kid. Michigan has a lot of hiking trails. Nah, I knew it. Midwestern boy. Small town. So small, it wasn't even on a map. Midwestern boy from a small town who believes in love. What about you? Like what? Where are you from? Not here. What do you do for work? What, am I a suspect? Uh, no. <laughs> No, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I like to ask a lot of questions. It makes me feel comfortable with the person. I liken people to, uh, to a Surat painting. Is that the dot guy? Very good. Each dot is like a shared experience. You have enough shared experiences with somebody and eventually they'll come into focus. I prefer to keep people up here to one dot. My dot is that I'm an EMT from all over. Have you ever saved someone's life? Yeah. Cool. What was it like? It's just part of the job. So this, uh, this stuff fulfills you then? What? Sex with strangers. <laughs> No, 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 it's not a judgment. I'm genuinely curious. It makes me feel. Feel what? That's it. It makes me feel. Do you, um, 
Do you get together with people more than once? I have to be honest, Noah, you're a good-looking guy and all, but you and I are clearly looking for two different things. What do you mean? It doesn't feel right if I know too much about a person. I think this may be where you and I part ways. Wait, wait, I, I have to go to the bathroom. Can you just hang out for a minute? I, I don't want to be up here by myself, and I'll be really quick. Please. Good thing you called out. You scared him off. You're good. Hey. Shit. Here we go. your asthma. Don't worry about me. Are you sure? I said I'm fine. One, two, three.
We gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. I need to relax. Do you think we lost him? We'll see. What's wrong? She's dizzy. Easy, easy, too much at once. Don't <coughs> This is fucking insane. What are we gonna do? Whatever we have to. Where are you going? I just want to get a closer look. Not too far. I won't. You hear anything? Take off running. I'll follow the sound of your running, okay? Okay? do if you hurt anything. Are you ready? Wait. Water usually ends up somewhere. Could this take us out? No. This is just runoff from all the rain this year. No, what we need to do is we need to find that trail to get down. What happened to your back? Probably only a few more hours of daylight left. That's good. And darkness should give us cover until morning. We can't be out here at night. There's bears and, and mountain lions and, and probably wolves. No, 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 I don't like the dark. We should, maybe we should just go back. It's not the animals we should be worried about. Noah, we've been out here forever, and we're getting nowhere. Patrick, there are backwoods hiking trails that lead all the way into the mountains. If we keep going this way, we're going to hit one of those trails, and it's going to take us out. 
But if we're gonna get through this, you and I, we need to work together. And it is safer here than it is back there, I can promise you that. Perspective. I'm trying to listen out for whoever the fuck is following us while you're sitting on your ass making noise like we're playing house. You get angry. I shuffle cards. We all cope with stress differently. Fuck! What? What? All I wanted to do today was get my dick sucked, and now we're being chased through wherever the fuck we are by some psychopath that you pissed off! Have you ever been on a road trip? What does that have to do with anything? When I was a kid, my family, we went on a road trip to Wisconsin Dells. On the way back, we got a flat tire and we didn't have a spare, so somebody had to go back the couple of miles to the last town that we went through. But my dad, he hurt his knee really bad in the wade pool, so my brother and I, we, uh, we volunteered. But the only thing that we had was this old tricycle in the trunk of our car that my dad kept forgetting to donate. So my big brother and I, we got on that tricycle and we rode those five miles back to town. That was the happiest I've ever been. Who the fuck cares? The point is that whenever anybody talked about that trip, the only thing that they talked about was my big brother and me contorting ourselves onto that tricycle and riding back to town. Made that trip unforgettable. Why fight against what could be a defining moment in your life? This is my brother, Michael. He used to come out here a lot. Ever met him? No, I don't know him, and frankly, I don't give a shit about your family or your stories. I just want to get out of here. Okay, then. Did you hear that? How much longer till we hit one of those trails? I don't know. Could be 10 minutes, or it could be two hours. I mean, we can always stay out here, and then just go back when the sun comes up. When the sun comes up? Fuck that, we keep moving. Whatever you say. the dark, do you? No, I don't, okay? Why? The faster we go, the quicker we get there.
What's that? No, come on. We gotta keep going. It's a baby bird. It's injured. We gotta help it. Kill it. What is wrong with you? You leave it out here to suffer? That's fucked up. Cruel. See? I put it out of its misery. Now let's go. No, you have to keep quiet. Calm down or they'll hear you. Okay, Noah, you have to breathe through this. Noah, listen to me. Listen to the sound of my voice. Slow, deep breaths in through your nose. Hold it. And release through your mouth. I know what I'm talking about. I deal with this all the time at work. Put your arms above your head. This always helps me with my asthma. Putting your arms above your head allows more air to get into your lungs. Slow, deep breaths in through your nose. Hold it for four, two, three, four. And release it on eight. Two, three, four. Hold it. Two, three, four. Release. Just focus on the sound of your breath. Tell me what that was all about. Are you sure we're still going in the right direction? How about if I hold on to the compass for a little while? Noah! Don't fucking touch me. Oh, relax. It was gonna die anyway. I did it a favor. It's not your decision to make about what lives or dies. Like, yeah, it may have been injured, but could have been saved. I think we're the ones who needs to be saved right now, not a fucking bird. <laughs> okay, I've been really nice about all this, but I'm gonna give you five seconds for you to take your hands off me, or I'm gonna knock your ass out. What the fuck? You swung a knife at my head. Brown recluse. A simple thank you would suffice. Where'd you get that knife? My brother gave it to me. Why? Because it's mine. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. I can prove it. There's a D on the base of it. See? It's mine. Now give it back to me. Well, if you didn't know my brother, then how did he get your knife? He probably fell out of my bag along the trail somewhere. Bullshit. You lied. No, I didn't. You asked if I knew him. I don't. No, 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 no. I asked if you'd met him. You said you didn't know him. Semantics. We hooked up once, all right? And he probably stole it from me. Now give it back. You're a liar.
gotta get out of here. It's gonna get dark soon. Good luck with that. I say if we haven't hit a trail in the next 30 minutes, we go back. My brother and I used to play a game to pass the time. If you're stranded on a desert island, what would you bring? A boat. <laughs> I never thought of that. And you? My soulmate. <laughs> what do you have against love? It isn't real. Love is a concept. It doesn't actually exist. So you really don't think that love can exist between two people? Why is it that in nature, no animals stay together after they fuck? Penguins do. That's because they're programmed that way, by instinct. If human beings were, then they do it automatically. But no, we get divorced, and cheat, and hurt each other. We're constantly going against our own nature. It sounds a little cynical. And you sound a little naive. And besides, I'm not a fucking penguin. We also have a much more complex brain which allows us to choose. And you can't really compare free will to instinct. What are you trying to do? I'm not following. Whatever you're looking for, I'm not into it. So let's just get out of here. I thought we were just sharing our opinions. Are we? Because it seems like you're judging me for my opinion. You would see it that way, wouldn't you? Oh, fuck off. You fuck off. to lead someplace. <sighs> this isn't a good idea. Well, you're more than welcome to follow that shitty compass, but I'm getting the fuck out of here. Like, the only way that we're gonna know that they're close by is if we can hear them coming. We're never gonna hear them coming if we're by the river. Okay. Then what do you suggest? Why don't we just push up into the woods a little ways? We'll get up far enough so that we can still hear the river, but we can also hear them coming. And then we'll just follow the river out from there. After you. Are you an only child? Why? Just seems like it. Maybe. What are well, you implying? What are your folks like? We just focus on getting out of here. Sorry, just thought, you know, once we hit the river, you might lighten up even be friendly. What are you looking for? My pills. Thought I'd put them in the side pocket. What kind of pills? Anxiety pills for my, um, anxiety. You're not gonna find them. I threw them out. You what? Dude, relax. Why would you do that? Be calm, relax. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry, all right? I saw them in your bag and I threw them out. Why would you do that? My mom got hooked on those things, okay? I was a kid. She took too many. I came home from school one day and she was dead. I'm sorry. 
But I didn't think you needed them. And you did, right? You got through it, right? You touch my stuff again, I'll fucking kill you. If they find us in here, we're dead. soon good and at least we're safe until morning i'm not staying here all night is that really necessary well they're not trying to suck our dicks so we need to be ready if they come back I say let's give it some time and then try to make it back to the river. Patrick, staying in here is the safest place to be. Running blindly out into the night, that's only gonna get us killed. Do you have a flashlight? No, I don't. What if this is an animal den? <laughs> this isn't an animal den. If it was, there would be bones. better. Hell of a day, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry I threw out your pills. That was stupid. Forget it. So much for your one dot limit out here with people, huh? You're really enjoying yourself, aren't you? I'm enjoying being in here, away from them out there, yeah. As much as I can anyway. Oh, I mean out here in the woods. 
But I prefer being in the woods to being around people, yeah. Why? I feel safe in the woods. I don't feel safe around people. In my experience, people are the root of all evil. Can't argue there. something that no one knows about you. Why? To pass the time. When I was a kid, my mom used to lock me in the closet whenever she had one of her crazy spells. That's why I'm afraid of the dark. How about you? I killed someone once. Bullshit. Who? My uncle. Okay. I'm listening. Why? Because he tried to kill my brother. Shoot him or something? I beat him to death. What happened after? What do you mean? Well, did you go to jail? My brother did. He told the police that he did it. What did your parents say? My parents died a couple of years earlier in a car accident. My uncle was our only living relative, so we had to go live with him. What happened to you? I was 13. They sent me to a mental hospital. <laughs> How long were you there for? until this year. My brother came and got me out when he got out of prison. You know, they never told me that I could leave when I turned 18. I gotta pee. Right now? What about them? Be quiet. <laughs> Don't worry.
about time. So what were you looking for now? Huh? My bag. What were you looking for? A flashlight. I told you I didn't have one. Yeah, well, you could have been lying. Why would I do that? You're the one who hasn't been honest. Go ahead. Look in my bag. Oh, I believe you. I said, look in my bag. I think maybe we should just get out of here. I'll make you a deal. I'll get you out of here safe and sound tonight if you do something for me. What do you mean? I mean, I'm willing to risk my life for yours if you do something for me. OK. Deal. Tell me where my brother is. But what are you talking about? Stop the bullshit. He went missing out here. Tell me where he is. I don't know where your brother is. I told you, we messed around. That's it. what you want. Stop. Please. I'll do anything. Just tell me where he is. I don't know where your fucking brother is. He came back one night with that knife. He told me he found it in the park. But I knew he was lying. I thought he was stealing. I didn't want him to go back to prison. So I followed him. Never do that. He took them everywhere. He found those cards together when we were kids. You wouldn't leave them behind. My God! My God! And that's when I knew that something bad happened on that trail. 
and you were the last person with him before he disappeared. Whatever you think happened to your brother, I had nothing to do with it! Give me that. You think this is love, Noah? This is some fucked up shit. You don't get to decide what love is, especially when it's something that you're not even capable of. You want to know what happened to my back? My uncle used us as his own personal whipping bench and punching bin. He kept us locked in the basement in a dog cage. He'd better slop sometimes, nothing at all. We had to sleep in our own piss. Well, he spent every dime that my parents ever made. My brother is the only reason that I didn't give up hope. When you go through something like that, you develop an unbreakable bond. That is love, Patrick. A love that crosses all boundaries. And it is real and pure and beautiful. Because I'm not the one who's out here taking and taking and taking and taking and never giving back. Because the only thing that you care about is yourself. That's fucked up. You're just like him. And I know that my brother wasn't the only one because I saw you with that other guy right before he went missing too. Remember? I like to watch. That guy was just another trick. Tell me where my brother's body is or I swear on his life, I will take yours. Okay. <coughs> Let's go.
jumped. What? Is that his blood? <sighs> oh, we got you, you fucking homophobic piece of shit! me. He said something that I jumped a guy. That would have been me. Did you lose something? I 
have given you every opportunity to admit to what you did. And you just keep lying. Daryl, you left your wallet in your bag. Someone once told me that, um, that it'd be cruel or, um, fucked up to leave something out here suffering. I'm gonna find him. Whether it takes days, weeks, months, even years. I will never give up.
What happened to him? He showed up. Turns out he just ran off with his boyfriend. Probably can't say the same for him. I'm sure he'll show up. Right. Trail off, the head is closed. Noah, I'm so sorry that it had to be this way. I wanted it to be different. I really did. You waited all those years for me, only to let you down. I want you to know that I don't regret going to prison for you. In fact, it was my proudest moment. All I ever wanted in this world was to protect you. When you saw me with that guy, yes, I saw you too. I saw the pain I caused you. It broke my heart. That's when I knew. I had to give up my life so that I wouldn't screw up yours. That's why I left those cards for you. Hoping you'd find them to remember me by. Those cards were all we had when we were kids. They always seemed to help us when we couldn't help each other. I want so many things for you, Noah. You can have a beautiful life. You were so much stronger than I ever was. You've never lost hope. Please know that I wasn't alone in the end. And I wasn't afraid. I had you right here with me. Thinking of you and I. Riding that tricycle down that empty open road towards that perfect fire orange sunset. Wind in our hair. Smiles on her faces. And love in my heart. Please forgive me, Noah. I love you. My brother. My soulmate. that this stupid little pebble can cause so much pain. It's because you're putting all your weight on it with every step you take. That was a rhetorical question. Are those tarot cards? Yeah. What are you, some new agey weirdo or something? No, not anymore. Somebody um, really special gave these to me. Mm. I'm Steve. I'm Noah. It's really nice to meet you, Steve. What am I supposed to do? Pick a card.
Is this good? It depends. Keep it. Keep it. Just moved here. Really love the nature. What about you? I used to. Nature, um, for me, it used to be like home, safe. But now it's just another reminder. Hmm? Oh, yeah, man, me too. Love it out here. The chillum. Never belong anywhere. Bright day, sunny sky, beautiful. Or with anyone. Yeah, man, for sure. That you'll never really be able to live. Just survive. You've become so broken. You have allowed yourself to become exactly what you hate. Yep. Gotta love the nature. Hey, uh, I'm gonna catch a friend. Nice to meet you, Neil. A monster.